Welcome to the Valve Studio for May 28th, 2017. I worked on a little project this afternoon. I'll go ahead and show you what it is. It's for my new test bench. It is a speaker selector. I got this off of eBay. This is a mono price six channel speaker selector that's stereo. It is a MS-6. So on the back here, you this is for stereo. You put your output from your stereo into these two jacks here. And then there's six pairs for right and left along, over here. And then you can select different speakers. It's, you know, it's for your house. Um, I'm not going to use it for that. I'm going to have it right here on my bench. And I'm going to be able to switch between the speakers that are along the top up there. Remember, I made this new test bench. And I'm going to have different types of speakers along the top. Guitar speakers. Uh, you know, home stereo speakers as well. Um, so... <clears throat> I got this idea from uh, Mark over at Blue Glow Electronics. He took two very large resistors and mounted them in an in enclosure. And he was making an analog test bench. If you haven't watched that video, it's really good. I'll have a link in the, in the show notes here. Uh, <clears throat> he took an analog discovery, which I also have, and he embedded that into this box with these, these uh, load resistors. And then he cross-wired everything together so that he didn't have to really undo anything in order for him to make um, a distortion measurements. Uh, so, <clears throat> as well as bandwidth measurements at full load, that kind of thing. Uh, I did the same thing for my little box here. Uh, he used two 8-ohm uh, uh, resistors at 250 watts. I'm not going to work on something that big, so I just have um, something else cooking here. So let me go ahead and show you what I worked on today. At lunch today, I got on my post-it note and I finalized the design. You can kind of see it here. Um, I know this doesn't make much sense, but here's the stereo switches. And then up here, I have a double pull, double throw switch that lets me select between these two. So I really actually get, for one input, I'll get out 12 outputs. And I put a, a jack in there. I have a jack and a binding post and a BNC. And uh, got some other stuff over here, but I'll go ahead and show you what I ended up doing. Okay, so over here, I added, well, let's just take this apart. And you'll be able to see what I put in here. It was actually quite amazing. I had all this stuff laying around my lab today. All right, this thing comes apart pretty easily. I hope. There we go. So what I added was I added some load resistors inside of here. And then I added uh, four connectors up in the front. Well, three connectors and a switch. So this is a uh, quarter inch jack. Um, this is for guitar input, you know, guitar amplifiers. It's all mono now. And then I have uh, banana jacks up here. And these are spaced at uh, three quarters of an inch so I can use, you know, stuff like this on them and switch it over to B and C if I wanted to. This switch here is a center off single double pull double throw switch, and this is a a uh, R, uh, BNC output, and this will go into my signal chain that goes up to my scope, and my spectrum analyzer, my distortion analyzer, that kind of thing. So inside of here, what I ended up doing was all these ones here, these these two inputs here, go into this switch. And this switch switches between the right and the left side of back here. All right. So basically what I did was I wired these into the center of this switch. And then I ran all the four wires over here to the right and left side. And what that lets me do is I can now show you my labeling up here. Is I have 
2, 4, 8, and 16 ohms. And those guys are wired into the back here. And they come back in here. And um, here are my load resistors. So I have a 2 ohm at 50 watt. These are all 50 watt resistors. And for some reason, I didn't have a 4 watt. So I made one out of two, four, two, 2 ohms. And an 8 ohm and a 16 ohm. All right, so I could test all, all the impedances that I would actually ever see on a guitar amplifier right here. And I could do that by just switching the switch. Now this is actually even better than this. Let's talk about this a little bit. <clears throat> so this is meant to run multiple speakers in your house. So if you want to run, you know, pair one and four, you just turn them both on. This isn't like a, you know, this isn't exclusive. You can... You can and them together. So if you want to do 8 ohms and a 16 ohm together, what is that, about 6 ohms? You can just press them both down. And um, that's how that works. This guy here, this BNC thing, is also connected over to um, these pins here. Which means that whatever the load sees over here um, will, will come out will come out on this side now this is the output from an amplifier so it's you know depending on the wattage you know it could be somewhere between 20 and maybe 50 volts okay <clears throat> now the other thing is i can do is i can run my speakers up above on the right channel and then when i switch this switch up here it connects these two um, terminals up to the top side of this switch and what i'll do is put labels on here like a jbl studio monitor uh you know celestian vintage 30 um you know whatever i end up having up on the shelf and I, it turns out that since i didn't i don't need more load resistors here i can actually use these two down here as well so i have room for eight speakers on this and I've also preserved the original function of this thing. If you wanted to just run it into a stereo, you can do it up here. And I can run some of the speak, some of the load resistors on one channel. And then I could um, put a different load um, right in. Well, I can, I can do loading as well. I, I can also have it be stereo speakers because these five and six switches are completely, you know, un unaltered. One last thing, this little guy over here, um, this has got this thing called single pair direct. It's, this is kind of confusing. Engage when using one pair of loudspeakers, you turn that on. Well, basically, if that button is pressed in, these extra resistors here are not put in the circuit. If you let this out, then these resistors here um, add a little bit of impedance to the load. Because if you have this many speakers um, running at the same time on an amplifier and they're all 8 ohms, then this one's going to be, you know, like, I don't know, how many, what's that going to be? Four, two fours together and an eight. This could be down to two ohms, a two ohm load to an amplifier. If you put this, if you uh, push, let this button out, it adds some additional impedance on there so you don't overdrive your amplifier. All right, let's take a look at what this thing does. So remember now, this is the terminal for the speaker. So I got my ohm meter here. And I'm going to plug it in here. And remember, this switch needs to be in the down position to match these labels down on the bottom. I don't have any of them pressed in. So here's the two ohm load. All right, it's at 2.2. Here's the four ohm load. Here's the eight ohm load. And here's the 16 ohm load. And these resistors are fairly accurate. It turns out that adding in all this extra connectors along the way um, adds about uh, uh, 0.3 ohms to my my load impedance. Oh, let's take a look at what this switch on the end does. So say I have a 2 ohm speaker. 
and I want to engage these resistors into the circuit at the same time if I let that out. This adds actually three ohms to the impedance. So this is the four plus the three, which is about seven. You know, eight and three is about 11. And, you know, 16 and three is 19. Now I can gang these together as well. I can put those two together and I get an eight ohm speaker, right? This, I can do this, these two together, we'll, we'll put both these load resistors in and all these in at the same time. So I can do higher wattage at about eight ohms because of these two are 50 watters. So I could get up to about a hundred um, watts out of this setup here. And you can kind of see that I can get a wide variety of impedances. Yeah, in fact, all of them in with this out is four ohms. Okay. What that's going to let me do is to kind of uh, do a lot of uh, balancing potentially and do then investigate how the load line impacts the biasing on a tube amplifier. So there you have it. This is the MS6 that I've modified uh, specifically for my needs. And I did get this on eBay as a used Actually, it was sent as new, but it had a little bit of a dent, a little bit, of, it was dented. I got it for $20. These resistors here, I think I got these for about $4 a piece. I had all this other stuff. So there you have it. This is my speaker load and speaker selection switch for the Valve Studio. All right, well, that about wraps it up for the Valve Studio for today. Thanks for watching.